Hello world, Prentice here again. For the first time in a while, I suppose. Um, first, I want to tell you it's a really short story. Um, when I was about 12, um, I was in class and I got called to the um, guidance counselor's office. And in uh, the time it took me to walk from the classroom to the office, she uh, got busy with something. I, I don't know what. I wasn't really concerned with it. So they asked me to wait, sit there and wait uh, till she got, you know, everything sorted out. And I ended up sitting there for an hour before she finally came and got me. And when she did, she told me I had the patience of Job. And I guess for most of my life I've learned to be pretty patient. Um, uh, I don't know why, I just was. But lately, say in the last two or three years, I have become less and less patient. And right now I'm pretty, I feel like I'm pretty quick to get sick of people. Um, I don't know if that's ultimately to my benefit or to my detriment. But uh, whichever it is, it's caused me to be very quick to get rid of some people from my life. Um, I have this friend, uh, I, I don't know, she, she's going, she's having some problems right now, like with her health and everything, and in my opinion she's not handling it very well, I mean, I know firsthand how hard it can be to, when you suddenly find yourself feeling much sicker than you think is reasonable, but um, I don't know, I, I don't feel like I took it out on the people around me, especially people that were just trying to express that they cared. I suppose I got frustrated with people who wanted to help me when I felt like I didn't need help, but... Um, but I don't think I accused them of things that were unreasonable. I just said I didn't want help instead of saying that they were lying about things and they didn't really care about me or something like that. Which doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, I'm asking how you feel, but... I'm not someone you can trust. I'm not asking you for anything, so what what reason do you have not to trust me? What am I how could I possibly be trying to hurt you by asking asking after you? I don't know. I don't understand people. I used to think it was because something was like wrong with me, like I just lacked the tools to understand people and maybe that is true to a certain extent because I'm sort of uh, my social skills were sort of stunted because I spent most of my youngest years by myself not really close to any kids my own age except my siblings who I was never really that close to because I never fit in with them but um but I don't think it's just a lack of uh, social development on my part. I think people are just becoming progressively more and more insane. Um, I mean, not all people, obviously, but enough of them that it's quite the pain in the ass.
but I'm probably not telling you anything that you don't already know. So, I don't know. <clears throat> what do you think? Do you think uh, the world's really getting crazier? Because I feel like, um, even though I prize uh, personal freedom very highly for everyone, you know, you have the right to make, as long as you're making informed decisions, um, I feel like you should have the right to decide whatever you want. But at the same time, it seems inevitable that if you give people freedom, eventually somebody, maybe the majority of people even, are going to abuse that freedom and start doing things not because it enriches them or enriches the world or does anything that's really positive at all, but just because nobody can stop them. I'm kind of all over the place on this, but if you've watched these videos before, you know I do that a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, I guess I'll stop rambling now. But, um, but that question wasn't rhetorical. I would really be interested in hearing what, uh, what you all have to say about, you know, is it me or, or is the world just really going insane? Um, I'm going to post this on YouTube and Facebook and in my secret group. So, you know, get back to me however you feel like getting back to me, if you feel like doing it. But, uh, as always, I thank you for watching. And until next time, this interview is over.